Chapter 6 Microsoft Excel 2016 Chapter Connect Starting MS Excel 2016 Excel Interface Moving Around the Spreadsheet Types of Data Inserting Rows and Columns Resizing Rows and Columns Features of Excel Components of a Worksheet Entering Data Making Selections in a Worksheet Copying or Moving the Cell Contents Performing Calculations Microsoft Excel is a popular spreadsheet software used for storing, organizing and manipulating data in rows and columns. In Excel, we can perform complex mathematical calculations on data. It also allows us to represent data pictorially in the form of chart. In order to understand all this in a better way, let us read this chapter. Starting MS Excel 2016 To start Excel, follow the given steps. Step 1. Type Excel in the search box next to the Start button. Step 2. Click on Excel 2016 option. Features of Excel Functions and Formulas Functions are the built-in formulas used for calculating percentage, interest, average, etc. in MS Excel. Formulas are mainly used for performing simple and complex calculations. Formatting Features Improve the appearance of data. Auto-calculation The data is automatically recalculated in the whole worksheet if any change is made in the single cell. Fast searching and instant replacing of data. Entering data in series using autofill option. Data can be viewed in a graphical form as charts which help to understand, analyze and compare data in an effective manner. Excel interface. The MS Excel file is referred Two as a workbook in which you work and store your data. Each workbook consists of several worksheets. It is similar to pages in a notebook. Worksheets are like pages and a workbook is like a notebook. The Excel window that appears on the screen is called a workbook. It is assigned a temporary name book one. A worksheet is a grid-like area. made up of rows and columns where you enter and work with data. By default, an Excel workbook displays three worksheets at the bottom. With the names Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3, we can add any number of worksheets in a workbook according to the limits of memory available on a computer. A worksheet consists of 10,48,500 76 rows and 16,384 columns. Columns are represented by alphabets on the top and rows have numbers on the left side of the worksheet. Components of worksheet Rows Rows are horizontal lines running from top to bottom on a worksheet. A worksheet consists of 1 crore 48,576 rows Columns. Columns are vertical lines in the worksheet. They are labeled as A, B, C, Z, A, 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 B, A, C, A, Z, B, A, B, 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 C, 
bz and so on a worksheet consists of 16384 columns cell a cell is an intersection of a column and a row in a worksheet a cell is a unit of worksheet each cell is denoted with a cell address for example a2 refers to the cell at the intersection of column a and row 2 data is entered in a cell a cell contains up to 32767 characters active cell the currently selected cell is known as active cell cell pointer the mouse pointer changes into a square in the excel worksheet it is used to point or select a cell which is why it is known as the cell pointer range a range is a group of cells in a worksheet a range can be given by the specifying the address of the first and last cell of the range name box name box is located above the column heading on the left side of the window this area displays the location of the cell pointer formula bar it is a bar next to the name box that displays the contents of the current or active cell moving around the spreadsheet to input data in a worksheet we have to move the cell pointer from one cell to another with the help of various keys defined in the given table command function moves one column right moves one column left moves one row up moves one row down page up moves the active cell highlight to first row of the spreadsheet page down moves the active cell highlight to the next sheet control plus home moves to the first cell of the topmost row control plus end moves to the last used cell of the spreadsheet entering data create the worksheet as shown in the figure open a new workbook by default sheet 1 is the active worksheet click on cell d1 and type weekly expense click on merge and center button in the alignment group on home tab click on cell a2 and type items press the right arrow key type monday in b2 and tuesday in c2 likewise enter data in rest of the cells click on cell a3 type eatables and press the enter key the cell pointer shifts to cell a4 types of data three types of data can be entered in ms excel worksheet they are numbers text formulae numbers numbers are values that consist of numerals like 0 to 9 and the characters like plus minus exclamation mark at the rate dollar percentage pesos and etc are included in numeric data they can be used in calculations in addition to actual numbers excel also stores date and time as numbers text text data can contain letters numbers spaces and special characters such as exclamation mark and and sign text data is not used in calculations by default text data is left aligned in a cell most often text entries are used for worksheet headings names and for identifying columns of data formulae A formula is a mathematical equation involving number values, operators and cell addresses used for performing calculations on worksheet. Formulae can range from basic mathematical operations to complex calculations. Formulae begin with an equal to sign. Cyber fact: To open a workbook, click on open option on the office button menu or press control plus o key combination. You can save your file using Control Plus S key combination, or click on the Office button and select Save option, or select Save option on the Quick Access toolbar. Making selection on a worksheet. 
we often have to select a group of cells to perform various operations such as copying, moving, inserting or deleting. The following table lists some common ways of selecting data in MS Excel. Selection Steps To select a single cell, click anywhere in the cell. To select data in a cell, double click in the cell and then select the data part of data as required. To select a range of adjacent cells, click the first cell of the range and then drag to the last cell to highlight all the cells in between. To select a large range of cells, click the first cells in the range, hold down the shift key and then click the last cell of the range. To select non-adjacent cells or cell ranges, select the first cell or range, hold down the control key and select the second cell or range of cells. Repeat these steps to select more cells or cell ranges if needed. To select an entire row, click on the row header. To select an entire column, click on the column header. To select multiple adjacent, non-adjacent rows or columns, select the first row or column, hold down the shift key, then click on the row, column header of the last row, column of the selection. Use the control key to select non-adjacent rows, columns. To select the entire worksheet, click on the select all button situated in the top of left corner of the worksheet. You can also press the control plus A keys to select the entire worksheet. Inserting rows and columns. Sometimes while working on a worksheet, we need to insert a row or column in between. Inserting a row. To insert a row, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Click on the cell above which you want to enter a new row. Step 2. Click the insert arrow located in the cells group of home tab. Step 3. Click insert sheet rows. Inserting a blank cell. To insert a blank cell, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Select the cell cells to be shifted. Step 2. Click the insert arrow located in the cells group of home tab. Step 3. Click insert cells. The insert dialog box appears. Step 4. Click the direction in which you want to shift the cells or cells. Inserting a column. To insert a column, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Click on the cell on the right side of the new column. Step 2. Click the insert arrow in the cells group of the home tab. Step 3. Select the insert sheet columns. A column is inserted to the left. Copying or moving the cell contents. Moving is referred to as changing the position of the data within the same worksheet or in a different worksheet whereas copying is referred to as copying or duplication of content available in the cell. The contents of the worksheet can be moved or copied to a different position on the same worksheet or on a different worksheet. To move or copy the cell contents, Following steps should be followed. Step 1. Select the cell or range of data to be moved or copied. Step 2. Click the cut button for moving the data or copy button for copying the data in the clipboard on the home tab. A border surrounds the range of data which is to be moved or copied. Step 3. Select the destination cell where you want to paste the data. Step 4. Select Paste button in the clipboard group on the Home tab. The selected cells are moved or copied to the new location.
Resizing rows and columns, the data we enter in a cell may not fit the standard width of the column. This may happen only when we are using a larger font or entering long names. So sometimes we need to adjust the row height and column width. The height of the row and the width of the column can be changed by dragging the border or by using the format menu. Resizing a single row height. To change the height of a single row, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Place the mouse pointer at the bottom border of the row heading. The mouse pointer changes its shape to a double-headed arrow. Step 2. Drag the boundary below the row heading until the row is of the height you want. Changing the column width. To change the width of column, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Select the column. Step 2. On the Home tab, click on the drop down arrow of the Format button. From the displayed list of options, click on Column Width. Step 3. The Column Width dialog box appears. Enter the desired value and click on OK. Observe the change in the width of the selected column. Performing Calculations Excel has a powerful feature to perform calculations on the data. We can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers either using formulas or using functions. Formulae are equations that perform calculations on values in our worksheet. The result of the calculation is displayed in the cell where the formula is entered. A formula consists of a combination of cells references, numbers, operators and Excel functions. To sum up, Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software that is used for storing organizing and manipulating data in rows and columns. Functions are the built-in formulas used for calculating interest, average, etc. in MS Excel. The MS Excel file is referred to as a workbook in which you work and store your data. Each workbook consists of several worksheets. We can enter numbers, date and time, formulas and text in a cell. Moving is referred to as changing the position of the data within the same worksheet or in a different worksheet whereas copying is referred to as copying or duplication of content available in the cell. We can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers either using formulas or using functions.